Hello? Is anyone here? Well, I'm here. But where's here? Yeah. What is this place? Um, I've got a better question. Who are you people? I can't remember. I can't remember any of you. I can't even remember my name. But I'm not sure who I am either. So, you must be in good company. I think. I hope. Um, none of you are like supervillains, right? Come on, think. There's got to be a way to make us remember. No, we can't fight this. Something tells me we have to let the memories flow. Yield to the memories. Let them wash over you. Did he just swallow Phobos whole? Oh, yeah. So, don't want to be around when he... <laughs> that you hoped, my lord? More. It courses through me. My own strength, combined with Phobos's power, and the elemental abilities of Nurse's guardians, all fueled by the hearts of both Meridian and Zambala. My power is at its zenith! My lord... My life. Ew! We'll keep things simple. The heart of Kandrakar cannot be taken by force. But if its Oromirs are destroyed, then the Guardians will be neutralized. Next, some permanent house cleaning. Leaving nobody to stop me as I attack the source of Earth's magic. Everfield, I know I can count on you, Miranda. Over the long months that Phobos and the Rebellion kept us in humiliation, we swore our vengeance on them all. But now I must know. Who else will swear their loyalty to Lord Cedric? I swear, my lord. The Knights of Vengeance are honored that our service is prized. Gargoyle, Sandpit, show this lord where your true loyalties lie. <laughs> Prepare your world for battle! But, Caleb! <laughs> We've already lost Meridian and Kandrakar. Earth must not fall! Go! <laughs> My lord, what is your will? Destruction. Take command and take this power. Destroy the traitors. Destroy the prisoners. Destroy the Guardian's source of power. It shall be done. And so shall the conquest of Earth. So swears Lord Cedric. He'll be here any minute. Yeah, and given his jumbo size and mondo bad attitude, he won't exactly be low profile. Uh, I'll gather the regents. When the fighting starts... When the fighting starts, there's something I need you to do. Sandpit, go! <laughs> Too blunt, 
I don't like it. But you know it has to happen. Yeah. But Will, if this all goes south, I'm gonna be beside you. I know. I was always a sucker for doomed romance. Yo! Romeo and Juliet, we got a mega battle coming! Yeah, okay. I'll do my part. Just be careful. All of you! Hey, it's snowing. I can't remember the last time it snowed. Well, when you're a guardian, the fun never stops. <laughs> Mercy, mistress! She's going after the Oromirs! The Guardians will be powerless! Go! We've got this! I'm coming, Caleb! Hey, Princess, I got a favor to ask. I need to borrow your familiar... Uh, family cat. What do you want Napoleon for? Well, now, that's a perfectly good question. I... See, uh, I need to... Yeah. Oh, just take him. He keeps blocking the TV. Region up, partners. <laughs> so, Matty boy, how bad is it? Worse. Regents do their thing. Easy for you to say? Your favorite stores aren't about to get stomped? Forget it, Will. There's no way I'm skipping the battle. Matt, please. Earth's blissfully clueless. And we want to keep it that way? Sure, it's a pain juggling double identity, but we like having normal lives to come home to. Win or lose, if Cedric's revealed to the world... There won't be normal anything anymore. For anyone. I get it. <sighs> so what do you need? We need the Regents to turn all of Heatherfield into one ginormous glamour zone. Keep our vision clear, but give the crowd something that won't short-circuit their heads. Oh. All right, move along. <sighs> I tell you, this new big screen is a menace. Downtown's a traffic nightmare. Look out! Ow! Watch it, jerk face! Scylla, pull over. Hey, don't worry, Mr. R. I was never gonna hit that kid. Forget the kid. Look at that. The flat screen? Yeah. Wouldn't mind having that baby in my living room. Cool cartoon, too. Cool cartoon. Babes with wings fighting a giant snake. What will they think of next? So, back to the Institute? No. Let's enjoy the show. How are you? Fair to Midland. And you? Can't hold out. Can't hold out. Where are we? What's going on? We're, We're not, not sure. sure. Whatever's happening, it can't be good. Caleb, Juliana, and Witch will need our help. Halinor, help Elyon contact Tarani. I'll try. But there must be harmony. Yes, we know. Ah, the Oromirs, source of the Guardian's magic. Stop, creature! I am the keeper of the Oromirs, and nothing will interfere. My favorite. Blunk look better than taste. But my darling Cedric would scold me for eating on the job. He can't even see us. Come on, one last strike. 
We can take him. That's that right. Just hit him with everything you've got. And now to leave the Guardians with nothing. Girl never had dinner fight back before. <laughs> Couldn't let you have all the fun. Tarani, can you hear me? Tarani. <laughs> Tarani, what's happening? Uh, Elion? No time to explain. No need to explain. Tarani, it's Halinor. Open your mind, and we will know what has transpired. It's worse than I feared. Cedric's power may dwarf theirs, but he is new to controlling the elements. There is still a chance. And we're supposed to trust you on that? <laughs> on anything? Trust she doesn't want Scaly Pants to win. So online the others and listen. Already done. Good. Now think back. Remember when we fought in your dreams? You didn't simply use your powers. You became your powers. We became one with the four dragons and the nymph Shen Jing. Oh, excuse me, but that was a dream? More like a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, opposed to this? We have to try something. Focus, Guardians. Reach down to the core of your power. Find the dragon within. Guardians, unite! They changed! But I can barely hear them now. Their thoughts are so faint. Their power is at its zenith. They are something more than human now. And less. There's another way we can help. Cedric feeds off the power of my seal. If we taint that power from within, we can give him a Mega Kong Pao case of indigestion. <sighs> Saw a guardian throw lightning in here. Figured it was worth a try. Phew. Now I thought the bustling stunk. <laughs> We can all escape. Fools! Did they really think I'd given up?
improvised plan, it went quite well. In those forms, you no longer have the will to resist me. You will become my thralls for the conquest to come. Get away with this! Oh, but oh, I will. will. Kandra Car toppled in a matter of minutes. Poor battered Meridian took even less time. One by one, the worlds will fall. One by one, they will give me their hearts. Until even Earth, with all its technology, will have no choice but to acknowledge Nerissa as its queen! I should never have doubted you, love. You did it. You brought order to the universe. With but a few battles, you ended war for all time. I am proud of you, mother. As always, Nerissa chose power over harmony, and thus remained trapped even as we achieved freedom. The jewel has become her prison, leaving her with nothing but her dreams of conquest. I hope she and her fantasies will be very happy together. Just one question. What do we do about them? Will. Go, kiddo. With Cedric down, we can handle the glamour. Cornelia, please. Irma, wake up! Snap out of it, granddaughter! Excuse me, my granddaughter. Why can't they come back? They've evolved beyond humanity, lost themselves. They can come back. They've simply forgotten they should. We touched the dragons. And got burned. So this is all that's left of us? I want my humanity back! Uh, what's humanity again? And uh, where do we find it? Will, please, come back to me. Irma! Tarani! Cornelia! Hey, Lynn! Follow the voices. Follow me. Okay, that's a trick we're not trying again anytime soon. <sighs> it was over. Took everyone and everything we had. Teamwork. Harmony. Yeah, that's how we maxed out our power. Anyway, we won. We all made tracks, and the regents abandoned the glamour. The destruction downtown was blamed on the snowstorm, which made no sense, but people believe what they want to believe. Case in point, Nerissa. She would remain with Julian. And maybe in time, father and son would make peace with what she had done. Meanwhile, the other baddies were back where they belonged. And so was a fully powered Elyon on Meridian's throne, surrounded by people she can trust, including Raythor, who finally has a monarch worthy of his service. It was kind of a new start for everyone. The Council of Kandrakar was back in business. Queen Cadma returned her heart to Zambala, but abdicated her throne for a more, uh, humble life on Earth. And a ghost-free Cassidy went home, too. Yen Lin introduced her family to her long-lost twin sister, Mira, while the rest of us just tried to find our way back to normal. It pretty much took all winter break. But by the time school started, I think we had finally decompressed. Girls! Oh, girls! I'd like to introduce you to our new computer instructor. This is Professor Raphael Silla. And I'm looking forward to getting to know all five of you. Yep, everything back to normal. <laughs> <laughs>